Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So to, I was going to do an up, I was going to do a conclusion video on the Wingsland, but I haven't really had the weather to get a proper flight out of it yet. But what I have done is managed to get enough of a flight up to give you some flight footage so you can see what the camera looks like. Because I'm sure that's what most people are interested in, what kind of video this produces. So the video looks probably better than I thought it was. I never expected this to be earth shattering. And it isn't, don't get me wrong, but it's not bad at all. You've got to remember that the video you're going to watch is also filmed on a really, really grey day. It's a horrible day it was. And you're going to have to bear that in mind. Now the other thing with this is, the reason I haven't got a conclusion video is because I can't get enough satellites or I don't appear to be able to because I'm getting a GPS lock, the light's telling me on the top I'm getting GPS lock but it won't lock in place. It's flyable, don't get me wrong but certainly if this were the best it ever flew and I don't think it's going to be, I'll do it as I say I'm going to do a video when the weather improves and do a proper video on it, another conclusion video but if this were the best it ever flew there was no way a beginner could ever fly this thing because it's it's lively to say the least and it's a bit sketchy, you have to be on the controls all the time with it. But, as I say, that might just be, I think that's just because of um, the issue I've got with the GPS at the minute. I hope that's the only issue it's got. But like I say, the camera looks better than I thought. So you're going to get the camera footage coming up shortly. You tell me what you think, I don't think it's that bad. And the only other thing I would say is, if you do buy one of these and you're thinking about it, this is not that, this is not good at all. This is very poor resolution. The battery fully charged doesn't seem to last two minutes. So you might be better looking at another way of viewing your video if you want it to view your video. Because this really to fly with is not acceptable. It breaks up virtually straight away. Even we, I put a different antenna on the top of here and it's still awful. I've tried it with goggles and it doesn't look too bad at all. So maybe give that a miss. I certainly couldn't fly with that any type of distance or anything. I certainly wouldn't trust it, even if I was only a couple of hundred metres away from it. I need some kind of, even with line of sight, I need some kind of thing to use when I'm lining up videos. So, not the best for that. So, enjoy the video that's coming up. Bearing in mind, I'm reviewing this at £130, £135 or whatever I paid for it. It's now 200 and thinking about it now, I, I wouldn't pay £200 for this, I'll be totally honest with you. I can get a Femi for 235 and th there's no contest in my opinion. They're both 1080p, but modern technology being what it is, it's always going to fly better than this. And this, I can tell you now, does not fly like a Phantom 3 standard or something like that. It's even, it's nowhere near as good. Even without my GPS lock, I can tell you that. Because in manual mode, I've flown this. And it, it's not sketchy in manual mode, manual mode. But it's not a sport flyer either, it's something in between and it's not bad to fly but I don't think this thing flies in manual mode as well as a book three. But let's leave that for a proper conclusion video. So thanks ever so much for watching, enjoy the video that's coming up. You tell me in the comments below what you think to the camera, is it worth 130 quid, is it worth 200 quid? I, I couldn't. At the, at the minute I wouldn't recommend this to anybody even at £130 but I certainly couldn't recommend it I don't think anyway at £200 but you let me know in the comments thanks so much for watching have a fantastic day